today, we are pleased to showcase the latest product from TimeTech called TimeTech BLE2. It is a Bluetooth device that can be used for unlocking purposes. There are four ways of unlocking the device. First, through the application and by tapping on the icon. Second, scanning the QR code. Third, using voice message. Fourth, auto unlock by staying near the device. This device is pretty simple. These two connectors are for the power input and the channel 1, out 1 and COM connector is used to release the lock. Therefore, we are going to show you how you can connect the power cable as well as the controller. As of now, we are using a 12V 3M adapter to power up the device and subsequently using a standard EM lock with the device as well. We are going to show you how the wire is placed onto the regulated input port, channel 1 port and EM lock. The cables come with a positive and negative, thus the positive should be placed into the positive regulated input and negative into the negative regulated input. For the EM lock, we will remove the cover in order to better demonstrate how the positive and negative cables should be connected. Once completed, let's carry out a simple power check to ensure that everything is working as intended. To check whether the EM lock is working, you can also place the metal bar onto the magnet. Alright, all the devices are activated accordingly. In order to operate TimeTech BLE2 with the EM lock, we need one extra cable to carry out the looping. Hence, we will be taking out the negative cable of the EM lock and place it onto the channel 1 COM while the other cable will be looping to the negative. First, release the negative cable of the EM lock and place it into the COM port here. Next, we are going to connect the negative cable onto the COM port as well as use the extra cable to connect it to OUT1 because we are currently using channel 1. On the other end, we will also be connecting back to the EM lock negative to install it in series. It is pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Once done, let's try powering up the device again. To ensure both devices are operational, EM lock and TimeTech BLE2, check whether the devices are powered up and the magnet is connected. Next, we should proceed on to the application on how to unlock the EM lock. We will be using our mobile phone and proceed to the Play Store to search for an application called TimeTech Security. Once downloaded and installed onto the smartphone, the first thing you need to do is to complete the registration. After entering all of the, your information, tap on register to complete the process. Once you have your account, you can now pair it with TimeTech BLE2. That said, this is the interface and let's move on to the pairing process. Start by going to menu, smart access and then configure access. Once in it, you will have to wait for the device to appear. This is the controller that we have just set up and to connect with the device, 
we will have to enter the required information and tap on add door. Okay, it now shows here smart access device 1 and by the name of demo. To unlock the device, this right here is the button and it is the first way of unlocking the device. By pressing on the icon, the EM lock will be released. Let's try this. As we can see, the EM lock has been released. The relay time is about 3 seconds before it is locked again. We have done the first method of unlocking, thus let's proceed to the second method. Ok, once in the app, go to menu, smart access, then configure access. In the settings menu, the options for voice command, auto unlock and scan QR code will be displayed. Let's try scan QR code first. Be sure to enable scan QR code. Let's use the phone and scan on the respective QR code. Basically speaking, we can stick the QR codes on the door and to unlock the door, all we need to do is to take out our phones and scan the QR code. However, occasionally, the QR codes might be stolen or lost. Therefore, we would also like to demonstrate how you can also reprint the code again. Just go to Demo and Settings. As you can see, we have enabled the scan QR code and you can easily print the QR code by tapping on the arrow key at view QR code and share it with any nearby printer for printing. Now, let's head to the third option. Go back to the same settings as before and now we are going to change it to auto unlock. How do we use the auto unlock you might ask? When you are near the door, all you need to do is launch the app and it will then ask you whether if you would like to access the door now. As for the fourth option, which is voice command, go back again to setting and change the verification method to voice command by simply enabling it. Afterwards, we can even choose from the menu as to what we would like to say in order to unlock the door. Following the first choice, the application will ask you if you want to unlock, just say yes. Ok, let's try this again. After you have changed the unlock method to voice command, proceed to the door and launch the app. Unlock door. Yes. Once in the voice command, the app will ask whether you want to unlock the door. Say yes and the door will open. That's it, we have thus demonstrated the 4 ways of unlocking TimeTag BRE2 from the mobile application. If you would like to know more about TimeTag BRE2, be sure to also check out our website at www.timetagsecurity.com. Thank you for watching.